U.S. health care bill, Trump issues Friday vote ultimatum. The American Health Care Act is meant to replace parts of President Barack Obama's signature Obamacare law. A vote on Thursday was delayed because of opposition from some Republicans. Mr. Trump reportedly told fellow Republicans that they had a choice between voting for his bill on Friday or being stuck with Obamacare for good. The president made the warning during a closed-door meeting at the White House, U.S. media reported. Republican and House Speaker Paul Ryan said, For seven and a half years we have been promising the American people that we will repeal and replace this broken law because it's collapsing and it's failing families, and tomorrow we're proceeding. Chris Collins, a New York Republican who supports Mr. Trump, said, The president has said he wants a vote tomorrow, up or down. If for any reason it is down, we are just going to move forward with additional parts of his agenda. Mr. Trump kept up the pressure on Friday morning, tweeting, After seven horrible years of Obamacare, skyrocketing premiums and deductibles, bad health care, this is finally your chance for a great plan. Woefully unpopular bill, analysis by Anthony Zerker, BBC Washington. The moment Republicans have been anticipating for seven years has almost arrived. They will have the chance to take a major first step toward rolling back the health care reform passed by Barack Obama and Democrats. So why is it that almost no Republicans seem happy? Moderates are upset that the proposed legislation cuts health coverage too much. Hardliners are angry the changes don't go far enough. Donald Trump is warning that if things don't go his way, he'll abandon the whole effort. The president's move effectively forces the hand of recalcitrant members of Congress. The moderates seem unlikely to budge, so it all comes down to the libertarian-leaning Freedom Caucus conservatives. Is a half a repeal loaf better than no loaf at all? Looming over all of this is the stark reality that the proposed legislation is woefully unpopular with the public at large, garnering just 17% approval in one recent poll. Conservative interest groups are sharply divided over whether to support the bill or not. What should have been a moment of triumph for Republicans in Congress has turned into an exercise in political pain minimalization. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump's health secretary, Tom Price, was pictured at a Capitol Hill bar on Thursday night, prompting some to wonder why he was not busy working the phones for votes, and others to conclude that the bill must be dead. Repealing and replacing Obamacare was a major plank of Mr. Trump's election campaign, but his replacement has stalled amid Republican infighting. The party is unable to find a compromise, the current reforms go too far for some and not far enough for others. The postponement of Thursday's vote was a setback for the president, who had insisted he would win the numbers to pass it through the lower chamber of Congress on that day. He needs a minimum of 216 Republicans to vote for the bill. If 22 Republicans join the Democrats in voting against the bill it will fail and an Associated Press tally late on Thursday suggested that at least 28 Republicans opposed it. The administration's hope is that Mr. Trump's ultimatum will force Republicans opposed to the bill to vote yes if the alternative is the preservation of Mr. Obama's health care legislation. Earlier on Thursday, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said Mr. Trump had made a rookie's error for bringing this up on a day when clearly you're not ready. The bill needs 215 votes to pass but ran into opposition mainly from conservative Republicans who believed it did not roll back enough of Mr. Obama's Affordable Care Act. Full Care Act. Obamacare helped 20 million previously uninsured Americans get health insurance but has been plagued by increases in insurance premiums, which were also a problem before the health law. Mr. Trump promised a new law that would cover more people and at a lower cost. The Republican bill keeps some of the popular elements of Obamacare but limits future federal funding for Medicaid, which covers low-income people. A new estimate by the Congressional Budget Office released on Thursday evening said recent changes to the bill would make it costlier than previously thought. The number of uninsured Americans would rise by 24 million by 2026 under the new law, the budget analysis said. Groups representing doctors hospitals and the elderly have said they are opposed to the Republican bill. Key elements of the new bill Cuts the Medicaid program for low earners Provides tax credits to help people pay medical bills, but reduced compared to Obamacare Ends penalties on those who do not buy health coverage Allows insurers to raise premiums for older people Blocks federal payments to women's health care provider Planned Parenthood for a year, for a year.